Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy the strongest wizard and today we're back here with another unboxing video And if you're new to this channel, my name is the strongest wizard and I generally create content for the one piece card game But today we're doing something a bit different We're actually gonna be diving into the brand new card game Union Arena brand new in the sense for NA I know the East has had it has had this card game for quite some time now So I'm uh, really excited to open up this brand new box of Bleach. Uh, very, very excited. I am located in LA and guys, I can't even tell you how hard it is to come across some Bleach uh, cards. It is very, very difficult. Uh, Hunter Hunter, a little easier to find, but Bleach, it's no easy task. So today we're going to be opening a brand new box and I'm very excited to get into this just because I'm currently a really, really big fan of uh, of Bleach. I've, I'm actually catching up with the uh, with the anime. I'm at, in the current season. I'm watching like I'm on episode like I think at time at the time of this filming, I'm on episode like 15. So it's actually getting pretty insane here. Uh, so yeah, let, let's dive in. Let's jump into this unboxing. Now, normally I have a whole little intro for my videos, but I figured uh, with these uh, boxes, it actually only comes with, I believe, 16 packs. So yeah, 16 packs in each box, and there's only 12 cards per pack. Uh, so a relatively uh, smaller box than normal, I feel like, TCGs. The ones that I normally play, like I said, One Piece, uh, it's 24 packs a box, so a, a little bit smaller here. Uh, now, what is really nice to see, since I haven't seen it in a very long time in a Bandai, in a Bandai card game, is actually uh, box toppers. So in this here, we have a box topper, which is pretty cool. Um, I miss these. <laughs> I really miss these. Uh, just something to be like, hey, here you go. You you bought a box and pull nothing. Uh, here's a free card. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you so much. So yes, uh, if you guys don't know, um, since the first time possibly watching this channel, I split the packs from uh, left to right just because I want to make sure, okay, what's what's the real sauce? Is it on the left side or the right side? But before we get into all that, we're going to go ahead and open this brand new pack. And I have to give a shout out, man. I have to give a sh shout out to my boy, one, my sponsor for today's video, which is DX and Outpost, DX and Provisions, the only place where I get all my sale product. They have a ton of TCG products on sale on their website, so if you're interested in any of that good stuff, check out the link below. But also, I have to shout out my man, Benson, for hooking me up with this box. Uh, he actually hooked me up and was like, yo, I know I know you've been dying for some bleach cards, man. He, he, here's a box. And I said, Benson, thank you so much. Thank you. So here we are. Uh, yeah, Toshido. Toshido, a uh, pretty cool card. He's a green card, 1,500 uh, battle points here. And is uh, essentially vanilla, zero cost, uh, one action point. Not too bad, just another zero cost. Why not, I guess. All right, so getting into this first pack here. Very excited to get into this. Uh, for the most part, I generally have a pretty easy time with these packs. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and gonna go through these kind of fast just because I know not too many people are too interested. So 13 Court Guard Squad, and I'm going to separate them by color as well. So here is a green, ca um, green card. I'm sorry, green card. Yes, green. We can look at the colors. Here's a purple. Now, I'm very excited because Bleach does have quite a few good cards here. Uh, we have the yellow as well as the purple. Now, from my understanding, please let me know in the comment section below since I am still very new at this card game. Um, I believe purple is the tier one uh, deck from these three. So different different colors here, uh, different kind of builds you can run. And we have a Bosby as well as a, a Soy Phone. Uh, really cool card. I'm just, um, like I said, huge fan of the anime. So uh, seeing all these characters come into light on the characters, uh, on these cards, I'm a very big fan. Now I do have to say, I actually am a, I actually don't mind the screenshots for the commons and rares for the set. I know a lot of people kind of have a, a quite a few gripes about that, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me too much just because uh, I like the anime. I like the anime. I like these shots. I remember when uh, a lot of these uh, instances happen and I'm like, hey, that's that's that one time. And it literally reminds me of that, uh, that meme. So I'm, I, I might throw in that meme here, maybe. Uh, okay, so we have for our last card. Okay, we have Rukia. Now this is a super rare uh, from this set. I believe we we're guaranteed six super rares, and I absolutely love the way this card looks. I'm, I mean, bro, with the bleach words in the background, and then with Rukia in the back. That's so cool. Such a cool card. I love it. Absolutely love it. Also, another purple card. Uh, another purple uh, super rare for my deck. So. You love to see it getting my pieces. And honestly, guys, I'm not sure if there's a online client where I can test online, but please, somebody make one. 
I am dying uh, to play this game. I want to test cards out. I want to test decks out. And I unfortunately can't do so. Uh, like I said, please let them in the comment section below. Is there a, any place where I can play this card game online? I want to practice. I want to play these games. What if I build purple uh, bleach and I realize I absolutely hate it? Uh, that would suck. I spend all this time getting these cards. So we have Getsu. And then our last card here is we have uh, just an action point. Now, this is just the common one. The common one uh, is non hollow. And the chase are all hollow, of course. Uh, I love I love the way this card looks. I have the sleeves that I got from uh, Bandai Card Fest, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of these dawn, uh, these <laughs> action points. In, uh, in One Piece, we call them Dawns, which essentially is kind of similar. And in every box, we get two as well. Um, so that's, that's kind of funny. Uh, so here we go here. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm very interested to see kind of how the all these decks end up playing, how they all end up shaping out to be. But generally, I'm a huge fan of this card game. Initially, I thought it was just going to be kind of lame, a little boring. But honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with my friends playing with this game. So uh, we're going to see if we can pull something out. And we got an Ichigo. Not too bad. Ichigo is obviously... Um, everyone wants Ichigo period I've seen online everywhere like hey, Ichigo super rare please I think they're like sitting at like 20 bucks a piece right now which is kind of insane uh, I imagine they're probably gonna fall just a little bit just because the card game is so obviously brand new so I totally understand so just kind of going through these going through the motions here of having a brand new card game uh, having a lot of these release uh, we have Lloyd here which is a yellow card we have Soul Society uh bankai um i do love how all the cards have bankai i think we, obviously that would suck if we all didn't have them uh let's see i think this is a good one. Oh, it's stuck it, it happens a lot okay all right so we have a uh another super rare not too bad very interesting how they kind of stuck but like i said guys all these super rares i can go wrong honestly uh very very cool all right, two super rares here. Again, Grand New Sai, pretty cool, pretty cool. Head Captain. Looks like we have another uh, action point here in this uh, pack. Obviously, like I said, we're guaranteed two, two common action points in every box, if you guys were not aware. make sure i put the colors correctly honestly <laughs> okay uh and okay and our last car here is okay another common action point like i did mention before um i really like this pretty cool i love the styling that Be bleach has in all of their intros their anime uh in the animation the coloring just so so, so sick man um sorry to, to, to fanboy yeah i feel like if you're not if you're not a bleach fan and you're playing the car game i, I feel like Something's off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like the most of the time, a lot of these players that are playing this card game is because they're, they're usually a fan. Uh, the Hunter Hunter for great for uh, a good example, everyone loves Hunter Hunter, right? I mean, the anime is uh, very solid, and if you keep up with the uh, the manga, uh, which I believe is coming back eventually, <laughs> um, you're even a bigger fan, right? So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see here. Uh, we have Kisuke Urahara, and then we have okay, so we have another super rare. Uh, I guess I'm such a big fan of the foiling. Uh, shout out to my man Kisuke, bro. I think uh, I think Kisuke is pretty awesome. Um, I kind of want to give a hot take real quick. Please, please let me know in the comment section below if you believe me. If you had to pick Kisuke Urahara or Kakashi from Naruto, who are you picking? I I don't want to I, I don't want to know who would win in a fight. I don't know who is stronger or who is smarter. I'm not asking that. If you got to pick one, as general as that is, you make the guidelines, the rule set for yourself. I'm picking Urahara, man. I, I, I think uh, I think Urahara is really, really cool. He's extremely strong. He's My man's playing 4D chess and everyone's, I don't know what else anyone else is really doing here. Uh, and let's see what our last card is here. Okay, we have another Kisuke. Speaking of the boy here. Uh, pretty good. 
Uh, when played, if you're curious to know what Kisuke does, uh, when played, place the top three cards from your deck into your sideline, and if you do, add up to one purple card from your sideline to your hand. That is so good. Being able to kind of just uh, reuse some of those uh, really important characters in your trash. And I can't even imagine the synergy that we actually do end up having on the top end as well, because it doesn't specify the energy cost that you can actually pull from. So if it's a five cost energy uh, character or uh, a two, it doesn't really matter. You can pull out really anything. Okay, we have Saijin, Sa and our last card here is we have not the super rare. <laughs> I totally, you know, when you kind of go through the packs and you kind of feel it coming, you're like, all right, this is it. This is it. Uh, yeah, that was not it. So we're going to go ahead and see here, still going through the motions. Uh, we have, that is a green card, my dude. What's going on here? Sorry, I do apologize. I try to keep it uh, classified per color. Um, so yeah, yeah. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys playing this game? Have you given it a try? Are you looking for for bleach product just like I am, or does your local area just have a ton of bleach or Union Arena to kind of pass out here? And our last card is sticky as well. Uh, we have Renji. Yeah, Renji. Pretty cool. Yeah, big fan of Renji here. I also love the outline that they do here. How they kind of have him like outlined in color. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys liking Union Arena right now? Are you possibly in one piece and debating, hey, should I kind of give this a try? Like I said, I definitely think it's a lot of fun. Don't think of it as uh, another Yu-Gi-Oh or One Piece or a magic game. Um, it's completely casual in my opinion uh, currently for myself uh, but that doesn't mean it's bad right sometimes you kind of need a, a break uh, a fresh uh, a breath of fresh air in a new car game to kind of uh, kind of get you going so that's currently what Union Arena is for me and I, I, I want to devote a little bit of time into it I, I want to maybe do possibly a little bit of content in it I might not do matches like that uh, some commentary or I might not too sure exactly but we're gonna see how it is. Sajin, and then we have, wow, that's like a, the, the double pack. That's the same cards, um, back to back. Pretty cool, interesting. So like I said, we have our box topper here. We have four super rares. So technically speaking, I believe we're missing two super rares and we are still missing our one AA that is guaranteed in every box. I know before a lot of people thought, oh, we're guaranteed two uh, alternate arts in a box, but no, that is incorrect. Uh, you're not guaranteed uh, two, you're guaranteed one, and you can have two though. So that is the difference maker here. Uh, you can get uh, in a, a hollow action point as well as an alternate art character. So uh, pretty, pretty in interesting here. We have Kisuke, we have Getsu, and then we have uh metalize now get to uh get to tensho man i mean come on yeah good card uh just hard removal which is super good in this game and very easy to pull off four energy one action point requirement that is uh app that's not much at all <laughs> uh okay so we have uh, the captain's coat here I got a good feeling about this one. Are we gonna see finally an alternate character? I just messed up all the <laughs> all the colors right now. Uh, Retsu and Shinji and uh, okay, we have Toshido. Uh, Toshido, just a basic super right here. Very very cool. Ice Boy himself, the Man of Ice. I'm also a really big fan of Shinji. I think Shinji is so cool. Um, character kind of dies down a little bit uh, as, as, like compared to hype wise but it's cool no spoilers no spoilers uh, yeah although playing this card game is a spoiler this is like the blood war arc so it's the brand new arc the arc that i'm currently in so i think <laughs> i think seeing all these characters might be a bit of a spoiler a bit of a leak so all right purple we have a yellow card uh, uh, okay, 
Okay, so here we have possibly our alternate card. No, we have Rukia once again. Uh, so two packs left, no alternate character. Do you guys believe in last pack magic? Is that a thing? Do you guys believe in that? Well, it's here, baby. If it's not in this one, it has to be in the last one, right? I mean, unless my boy Benson sold me a dud of a box and just, you know, opened the box up, resealed it. That would be pretty nasty. Benson, why are you like this? Please don't be like this. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Quincy. Retsu. Uh, I saw the purple face and I said, that's a purple card. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, all right. So this is actually our alternate art card. I think so. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Pretty cool here. So this he's actually a rare that is um, an alternate. So uh, pretty nice. I think he looks pretty dope. Uh, he's a green character. I can read exactly what he does. Uh, he's a three energy cost, one action point character. Uh, he has damage too, which essentially is like double attack. If the first attack goes through, instead of doing just one damage, he does two. And then he has a trigger, which is just draw. So, and he generates two energy. So he's just kind of a staple. He's really, really good. Honestly, a three one with just uh, damage too is pretty good. You always have to block him essentially, uh, which you don't really mind. He's, his his uh, battle point isn't too high, 2,500. So not too bad honestly uh huge fan of the artwork um yeah pretty cool pretty pretty cool all right last pack here now it is very possible to have uh two alternate cards in this uh box it's very very possible now i only have five super rare so if we know how to count uh this pack should have a super rare in it and if it doesn't, it has an alternate art, that'd be amazing. And I'm actually surprised that we got our alternate art and the last card too, or the last two packs. That's pretty awesome. So thank you guys for checking this video out. And then our last card here is we have, oh, okay. We have, uh, she's part of the, um, the Quincy's, which is really cool. Uh, I do really like the way this card looks, and this is just a regular super rare. So unfortunately, not getting any Ichigos. So we're missing the boy, obviously we're missing Ichigo. I'm gonna clean this up and see exactly what I need to pull. All right, so we're back here, and we have our super rares here, as well as our, our action points, our box topper, as well as, of course, Shinsui, uh, which is our alternate art character. So we have our six, like I said, our six super rares. Uh, ones I'm most excited for, I'm trying to build the purple bleach. I heard that is pretty meta, and that just sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the characters that I like are in the purple arc as well, in the purple section, uh, which is really cool. Uh, we have both of these action points. Uh, I'm actually a bigger fan of the Ichigo one. I think just the dynamic amount of color with the character kind of popping out looks pretty sick. I'll show it to you guys once again. Uh, absolutely think this card is super cool looking. And probably my favorite super rare I didn't mention is probably the Rukia, honestly. I just love the way this card looks. Um, it just kind of looks like a total boss. <laughs> uh, a really cool cool card here uh, we had the box topper which is the, the the toshiro which i did mention here and now for our alternate art card once again i'm gonna go ahead and reveal this bad boy i absolutely love the way this card looks and cool enough it's a rare it's not even a super rare that is an alternate art card uh of course like i said it's a, a three one uh double damage with a, a draw one trigger which is not too bad and the two energy uh generation here uh, sitting at 2500 battle points so not too bad uh, uh, and that's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for checking out this channel. Um, I really do appreciate it. And stay tuned because I have a ton of Union Arena content coming out soon. See ya. It's